using these ingredients. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dad likes these challenges. place on the stove. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Isa, and I'm home visiting my family in San Francisco, based in New York. But if you guys haven't watched these videos before, you guys can watch the fried rice cooking challenge just to learn a little bit more about my family and why we love food and cooking so much. Because my dad's a chef, so he will be judging all of our meals. Welcome back to the third episode of the Sung Family Cooking Channel. My brother just came home from playing basketball, so I'm gonna be making an introduction, but today we will be cooking and elevating Shin Ramen. Whoever can cook the best Shin Ramen with these ingredients that we have in our fridge will win. Hey guys, so what I'm gonna make with my ramen, I'm gonna use a shin ramen soup base, and then I have a beef bone broth that I got from H Mart. I have shabu shabu beef slices from H Mart. And then I have uh, some spinach and tofu and mushrooms that I'm not gonna share with my siblings. Actually, maybe I'll share with my beautiful and kind sister. Hi guys, it's Chris here, and I am going seafood. We're gonna taste the sea in this um, instant. Uh -huh. Come here. Yeah, so for mine, um, I'm going with this nyogori. It's seafood. You know, if you've had this, you know it's thus. I'm gonna elevate it and add marinated raw crab. This is what's gonna win me the challenge. I'm gonna give him a little side of panchan, a little bit of kimchi, and a little bit of the raw rare marinated crab on a bowl of rice and seaweed. So he has like a full tray as if he were in Korea. Hey guys, for my ramen, I'm gonna be making the dry noodle version and I'm just gonna use what I have in the fridge, so scallions and egg, because it's not about how fancy you make it, it's about what you have. And also I'm gonna make sure that we don't have as much time because then you can't just be making a full on fancy meal. Let's get cooking. Three, two, one, start. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, no phone. <laughs> it's clean for okay. My mom is a clean freak. You're just taking all the garlic? <laughs> Doing all that just to lose. Yo, right here, we gotta take the, the perfect beef slices. We gotta take this Korean marinade. We gotta do a marinade like beef. Should I do a Cajun shrimp with crab? Oil. Yeah, you should do it and add cheese. I'm taking three already wrapped fresh Chinese dumplings. Mom, oh, I feel bad for Yaya. She lost her call. Can you get it for her, Mom? Aye. Isabel, look at your pure garlic. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. Oh, there's more garlic? Yeah, now you don't get any. You snitch. I'm so chill right now because I know I'm winning. This is real nice skills. They don't know that. Gave me the smallest knife too, bro. Can you stop whining, bro? There's so many knives in this kitchen. You wouldn't know if you did the dishes. Those are some fat ass green onions, Lucas. You're gonna top that with that? You're making me eat soup. Shh. How many more do you think? I'm just gonna add some flavor. Wait, this is not enough. We're changing it to 30, okay? No! Bro, no. there's 10 minutes left, bro. I'm gonna be, there's 10 minutes left? I'm gonna be ready in 10. Alright, let's get a feel I'm gonna get some crispy pieces, and I'm only gonna put a little bit so that we do want to more. You guys didn't even give me a place on the stove. Like, where do I cook? You have the small place. You have the other side. Okay. I'm gonna show you. All right, come with me. We're gonna start with the aromatics. Sesame oil in. Chop um, onions and garlic. What? Yeah. We're gonna put it on not super high heat. Yeah, shit. Marinated jalapenos too. We're gonna use that as well. <laughs> Who farted? Where's that good scrap? <laughs> Wait, I think Lucas farted, bro. I'm making the sauce right now. Well, actually, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. Look at all this trash on my cutting board. We're almost 
Black. Mm -hmm. ah! My egg crack. You know what? New one. New egg. Oh, all that crab umami flavor. Goopy, you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get hurt. Here, over here. Stand here, stand oh. here. Oh, fuck. all this shit in it. I don't know what the fuck is called. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Dude. Honestly, I just saw this on a reel. <laughs> one day. I've never tried before. Two minutes, two minutes. I'm letting two Lucas win. Are you guys noodles eating stuff? No. Where's the AJ. Mom, where's the vinegar? I think I'm gonna win, guys. Those are really spicy. Okay, adding all my scallions. Can can someone count down? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, chill, 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 chill. Okay, let's start. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just really challenge to be the best in the game. Thirteen seconds. Count like ten. Two. Two. One. Whoa. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Like, oh, Ow. <laughs> I'm ready. Hey, this is not bad, right? You wanna share it with me? Yeah. I'll open it. Come here, come Just come go here. ahead and take first bites. I think dad likes these challenges. Wait, dad, go with me. <laughs> what did you do? I used to watch Korean cooking videos and they, they cook onions, garlic, and scallions. Wow. And I fried it in neutral oil with the shin powder. And then I had a beef bone broth I put in to make the broth. Then I made the, the spinach, eggs, soft boiled an egg, and marinated the beef in Korean um, marinade. And then, yeah, did that in 20 minutes. One lucky bag. Aw. It's very cute. <laughs> he keeps eating it. I like the little sugar in the beef. Like a sukiyaki. The eggs cook perfectly. Very nicely done, the, these eggs. Oh, I'm yeah. actually so impressed about Lucas doing those eggs. Oh, oh yeah, I tried try that egg. Try, look, yeah, actually try the that. Broth egg. is very. Uh, what I recommend is pouring a little bit of soup and chase, eating the egg and chasing it with soup. That's kind of impressive that you did that egg. I don't even know how you did that egg. I can't even do that. Shit. Very tender. <laughs> no, that egg is a ten out of ten. So mine is a um, is a nyogori, but elevated with a marinated crab. And um, it's got thick noodle, so I wanted to give you a different taste. It's like more like a ra ramen type of feel, but like instant. I, I threw a little couple mandus in there, or Chinese wontons, and there's some crab in there. If you can get a little bit of the meat from the body, woo! It, it is spicy. Oh, hot! <laughs> <laughs> when I tasted it, it wasn't that spicy. It's really spicy. I wanted to put a little bit of the imitation crab in there, but... Mm. Good. <laughs> I'm nervous for mine. The egg, to get a little creamy mix, I, I made it just like yolky enough so you can like poke it and then get a little bit of like a, a custardy egg with uh, your soup because the soup could be spicy. Wow, that is... Now this is going to win, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Because it's, it's gambang. <laughs> oh my. I saw this girl called Doobie Doobop did it, but I guess I can't trust it now. I think the flavor was surprising. A little surprising bit of expectation. Sure. If I came in and not thinking that it was like a cha cha min, then I would have been fine, right? I thought about using the chapaghetti, but... The consistency of the sauce, the degree of flavor, it's all spot on. The vinegar actually brings a, a, a good high tone to it. Without the vinegar, it'd probably be a little bit boring. I did some so pork yummy. belly with a garlic, black vinegar, shin ramen, spice, hot chili oil. I added scallions and I undercooked the noodles a little bit so when you mix it, it was perfect and Same. a little chewy. It is perfect. Same. And I did some pork belly and a fried egg and some sugar in the egg. I did that too. Let's try. It's not. This noodle, I'm gonna. <laughs> you like it? Mm hmm. Wait, AJ. Try it. You need, to, you need to get your opinion. I think Dad's messing with mine. Wow. Okay, as well. She's about oh. to try mine. Yeah, you guys mm. taking shin ramen to a different level. Mm. I was thinking about making 
cold peanut butter noodles, but I don't know if you would like that. But like, I probably would have won. I described it to you one time. You like, you like what that? Mm, I don't know. Lucas has a very good chance to win today. Please. It's a very comfortable food. Please. That's the most relatable Korean instant noodle right there. Is it those noodles good? It's just I had a pre expectation of it not being. Acidity. Actually, it looks fire. Can I have a bite? It's gone. That's a good egg. <laughs> There's more egg. All right. mm. Well, today is going to be hard to judge because they're all so good in the, their own ways. The noodles are all cooked perfectly. The temperature is all perfectly. Creativity is all there. Comfort level is different to different kind of people. Some people like spicy, they will find this very comfortable. Should be probably like minus 10 degrees outside to have this. This is very, very homey. So it's very comfortable. This is also very yummy. Everybody's in the in the nice. So maybe 9.2, 9.4, and 9.5. Hard to judge. Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> Pick your favorite kid, cause you, it's, you know, it's really hard to judge, cause He's to cause they're they're gonna be like, why did I lose? Why did I lose a, 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 a half a point to this person? When you guys have kids, you would know. Hard to judge. He's laughing. You know what? I will make the best slime now with my Italian style. And I'll take the crown. I can judge off of, off of presentation now. This this one lose a half a point because it's got sauce it's got all over the, the side, dookie all over the bowl. All right, Lucas gets the top win because of that egg. That was hard. Yeah. That was really well done, I'll all be right? Honest. The other two is the tie. I can't judge. <laughs> Maybe Isabel gets number two and Sunkiss gets the last one. That's stupid. All this junk on the side, yeah? <laughs> but that to say the junk wasn't on the side, did I get second? Yeah, it was a, it would be a tie if your cleanliness was there. Lucas, post-game dub. Post-game dub? Wait, AJ, you know, AJ. I came in as an underdog, you know? Uh, Chris had one W, Isabel had one W. I was praying to God that uh, actually I would win this one. In fact, I actually wanted the challenge to be steak because that's the only thing I made, but like... Chris and Isabel wanted to do shin ramen, but uh, I'm glad I pulled out the win. I think it was because of the soft boiled egg, and I make it all the time at college, so. And your meat was delicious too. Dad's gonna make his version of instant noodles. Yeah, so they just had a challenge. As I was waiting for them to, to do their thing, I, I wanted to make a uh, pasta dish with uh, shin ramen. So the Italian do a uh, spaghetti dish with just garlic, chili flake, olive oil, Parsley and cheese, and that's it. Dad, I hope you know the reason why all of us can cook is because of you. I know. <laughs> it's nice, it's 9.5. I'm gonna make that for you. Right, water. We're gonna follow strictly Italian way. So we're gonna do al tante. We're gonna heat up this pan. Olive oil. Nice amount of olive oil. So. Italians just use the garlic to season the olive oil. All right, we can go now with noodles. I'm not gonna use any of the shin packs. Just let the flavor come out of that garlic. All right, pasta water. Stop cooking. I want to have a little emulsification. And I think I want this, the moment this breaks down a little bit, noodles in, heat up. Give a little bit of thickness. Do you butter? No butter. But you see all that coagulation of, of broth? Here we go. All right, kids, you ready? Yeah. This is your pops, late night shin. Very Dad version? Very authentic. Mmm, let me see. Mm. That's why I want to eat it. It's pretty better than Italian food. <laughs>